Hello and welcome to Industry Spotlight with Creative First. Our guest today is Prithul Kumar, Joint Secretary Broadcasting and Managing Director, National Film Development Corporation. Prithul comes from the 2000 batch of Indian Railway Traffic Service, a prestigious Group A civil service cadre of the central government. Previously, he was the Joint Secretary Films at MIB and Executive Director, Computerization and Information Systems at the Railway Board. Prithul, welcome to this discussion. Namaskar. The Mumbai International Film Festival, popularly known as MIF, has had a strong focus on the genres of documentary, short films and animation. These segments have seen significant growth in the last decade. How has MIF impacted this segment and what are the future plans for this platform? So, uh, first of all, thank you very much for giving us uh, this platform to speak. And uh, the Mumbai International Film Festival, erstwhile it was called the Bombay International Film Festival when it started in 1990 uh, by the government and then the film division, which was an organization under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting used to organize this. The uh, division of the government before uh, behind starting such a festival was these are special these used to be mostly the non-commercial non-theatrical release kind of segment of the cinema which needed a much uh, which had uh, uh, to be supported by the government in a much more prominent way so we thought not just including them in the international film festival which happens in goa but having a separate festival for this genre of films so that the docu the voices of documentary and the animation and short films don't get lost in the broader uh, commercial films. So that is how it all initiated. And I think that vision is being followed uh, now also with the government uh, uh, trying more and more to increase its international exposure. Like, the, like I'll tell you, the last year, the, uh, the films which participated in MIF were 30, the, the countries which participated. Uh, and this time that has increased to 59. So almost double number of countries are participating. So, so that's one uh, reach has increased. And uh, uh, besides that, MIF is also now focusing on uh, the documentary filmmakers, not just getting to showcase their films in the festival, but also get a sense of uh, business in the festival. So this time we have also started uh, for the first time a documentary film bazaar in this uh, Mumbai International Film Festival, which I think will be uh, will will be a very very healthy ecosystem for the documentary filmmakers and the associated platforms and stakeholders who can come and interact with them. Tell us a little bit more about the documentary film bazaar. So uh, this is the first time we are having it, and especially you know the the verticals of co-production market will be there. So uh, out of the received entries from across the world, we have selected 16 projects from 10 different countries will be pitched in this. So uh, they will try to find out buyers, distributors, co-producers. And uh, six films we have uh, included in the work in progress section, which will just not be looking for buyers and distributors, but they will also be mentored by the film bazaars, chosen mentors for editing and the final cut version. So, you know, we'll be actually working on their film and helping them finish it properly. Apart from that, we will also be having a bouquet of films, more than 100 films in the viewing room where the uh, where the sellers and buyers from across the world can view these films, the, uh, the finished cut or the semi-finished cut of the films. The festival programmers from across the world can select films from here and they can take it back. And uh, after that, we also are having an open market arranged of for buyers and sellers. So that also will be organized as a part of this document film bazaar. And I'm sure that uh, the kind of success the original film bazaar in the IFI has had. Uh, last year, we introduced documentary as a section and we included only five, five films in all the components. But you'll be happy to know that most of the projects pitched there have, uh, you know, are have already found buyers. Like two, we are confirmed that they have found buyers. But the rest of them are also in active negotiation of finalization of uh, this thing. So it is a very, very good platform where the filmmakers can a uh, put their content up for uh, look up internationally. B also, I would say that you know not just the filmmakers but also the film students can utilize this ecosystem to participate in it, attend the master classes, panel discussions from the eminent uh, filmmakers of this domain, and uh, sort of you know get a 
nudge of what is happening in the industry and sort of see the films which are being played in the festival and find out what is the level of international films and then that helps them evaluate their own work get ideas for doing better work so so that this uh, myth this film bazaar inclusion will go a long way in sort of you know also uh, preparing a ecosystem where documentary films will also start getting funding in fact you know i had also like to add one more thing one very important thing which we have added this year in the film bazaar itself is that we have identified that the documentary film making can also be supported through the csr funding the corporate social responsibility funding of the corporates so we have had a two hour long session where we have selected some projects of environmental and social causes uh, which are on environmental and social causes and they will be pitched to these uh, uh, these big corporate houses and then uh, their representatives who look after the csr funds and we can try to do some kind of a match making that the corporate takes up the responsibility of funding these documentaries which would have a far wider impact than actually investing into a small little project uh, a physical project and this documentary can carry the voice and also can do a lot of brand enhancement so as you would be aware this year uh, 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 a film called manthan which was made uh, on the cooperative of amul uh, was there in cans also in the official selection of cans so that was uh, this also reflects that you know how the corporates have been also traditionally taking up but that was more by their own choice so we we want to sort of do match making here in the film bazaar also mif is in its 24th year now what are its key contributions to the broader industry in india and its representation internationally so let me start with something which is uh, which is really hot right now that india for at uh, after such a long time has got a major breakthrough in the cannes film festival and our talent pail kaparia who's won um, the award at cannes she has been twice winner at the mif in 2016 she was the first time she got a uh, award here in mif in 2020 again she got an award so these are kind of become the platforms for the filmmakers of this genre and they can really showcase their work and people can really look up internationally and find uh, you know find them out and it's it's actually you, you know it acts as a stepping stone and the sky is the limit so so this is one example with which i can say that mif is a very very good platform for uh, documentary and the animation and the short films especially in south east uh, south asia but uh, the way things are progressing we are not far that will be one of the best festivals across the world and uh, uh, this will certainly be a platform which people will look up to attending uh, for this uh, event with the overall industry growing at a rapid pace do you see more demand for film festivals and how will the landscape for them develop in the coming years so of course uh, Uh, the the as we are doing mif it's a biennial festival so once in two years we organized it there are already demands for the industry to make it uh, a yearly event rather than a biennial but yes going back to your question that uh, there are a lot of film festivals which are now coming up remotely in india you know people are increasingly becoming aware that film ecosystem if created through a film festival it just not lets the cinephiles view the films but also it becomes a a sort of a hub a playground kind of a thing where the filmmakers can interact with each other and as all of us are aware filmmaking is like is like stitching a dream together so you know you cannot have a step wise process you have to find the right set of people and right set of matchmaking for the whole unit and that's how a film uh, comes into a reality so these film festivals are very very important for uh, that also for our Uh, overall filming to improve our film making to improve and after all india's films improving overall that that helps a lot the film festivals i believe the screenings this year for mif are also going to be held in other parts of the country uh, you know could you elaborate yeah so uh, this year the uh, mumbai international festival will also have its screenings in delhi the sri fort auditorium in pune the nfi auditorium in chennai the nfdc's uh, tagore auditorium and also in srfti kolkata uh, there also will be having screenings uh, uh, the the essence of the programs like master classes and document film bazaar and the other ancillary main activities will be 
held in the Mumbai campus also. But yes, it's indeed a wonderful opportunity for people to attend the festival, even at these cities, and see the wonderful selection of films. Because as I told you this time, we have had uh, films from 59 countries in 61 different languages. This year, incidentally, I'll also like to praise on record that uh, we had record number of submissions, uh, more than 1,000 this year, which is very, very encouraging for MIF. And we are in total, the program which we have selected is around 314 films. We have also curated best of the Oscar uh, uh, films, best of the Berlinale shorts, uh, you know, film institutes uh, across India are participating. So their films, we have put best of their films. Uh, even Babelsberg uh, uh, Film Institute, which is one of the top-notch colleges in Germany and across the world, there also uh, a film package is coming. So internationally and both nationally, we have tried to curate packages of these documentaries and animation and the short films, which people will love to celebrate with us. So I would invite everyone in all these cities also to come and join us and uh, watch this festival. And uh, I would also like to tell you that uh, the there is no delegate registration fee there is a uh, we have gone hugely digital in this edition of mif and uh, the delegate registration can be done on a portal it can be done through a mobile app which is available at both the ios and the google play store so people can download that they can see the screenings they can book their seats they can uh, register on that they'll get their uh, badges right there on the app so all of that is integrated uh, in the it platform which the uh, festival is providing. The world is going through rapid technology evolution and adoption with the growth of AI, AR, VR and other digital mediums. How does MIF plan to evolve, incorporate and imbibe these new developments in the coming years? So that's very important that uh, all these new technologies are coming in. So the filmmakers, the conventional filmmakers should get aware of that and they can best utilize it to improve their filming, improve their uh, uh, you know, film production. So, uh, starting with last year uh, in the film bazaar in Ifi, wherein we included a separate uh, uh, vertical, which was the uh, VFX and the technical pavilion. So, you know, there were uh, uh, they were there was a pavilion provided in which uh, various companies were they sort of you know projected their technologies of virtual production of their technical equipments and the kind of you know uh, the vfx technologies which are upcoming so it was a good chance for the filmmakers attending that kind of ecosystem to uh, sort of you know go through these technologies available up today as uh, we understood the importance of it and the relevance which it meant for the filmmakers there so we have included such a thing in this film bazaar also and apart from uh, a total number of uh, about 20 22 stalls are being put in the uh, film bazaars uh, pavilion space and most of them like uh, GoPro and other technologies will be showcasing uh, uh, the uh, the uh, products which they have for this uh, advanced technologies and I'm sure the filmmakers will benefit from it. So this will be here in the Mumbai campus. We'll be having those stalls also. I'm sure people are going to be very excited to attend this edition of MIF. Thank you so much for this insightful discussion, Pritul. Thank you so much, uh, really, for MPA and you also that, uh, you know, giving us the platform to be able to tell people what is the importance of MIF and how we are trying to make sure that everybody becomes a part of MIF. There's no guest. Everybody comes here as, and gets involved into the MIF family. So from your uh, uh, portal, we'd also like to request that more and more people should become part of it. That is what uh, we are hoping for everybody to gain from it. Thank you so much. Sure, thank you.